Welcome to today's 3D print. Probably my last Christmas episode, unless I find a bunch of more cool stuff to try out. Like I might still do cookie cutters, because I know somebody wanted that. But that would probably be a bunch of different kinds of cookie cutters. So the last one is critters. With the exception of this one. These are all printed on the JG Aurora A5. That one was printed on the CR10. Stay tuned. So as I already told you, this one was printed on the CR-10. The antlers broke several times already. That was my fault. I had negative restart retraction and coast enabled with values that were slightly too high. So the result is the deer printed very nicely. But once it got to here, it actually began negative retraction. So it was deploying less and less film at each turn because those negative values began adding up over time. But I was able to salvage it and it finished otherwise well. So this one's laying down. Now this is something interesting people might not realize. You notice how this is two color. I don't know how well you can see that in the video. Hopefully you guys can see that right here. With the with some, not all, with some of these transparent filaments and this one in particular did it very well. This is the Zyro transparent purple. Um, if you print it hot and slow you get this nice glossy clear color. If you lower the temperature, I believe in this case it was 205 yeah, I think it was 205, you get this more opaque translucent color. That's actually pretty cool. So if you did variable settings on an object, you could actually change the temperature at alternating numbers of layers and create a multicolor effect, kind of like the velocity printing that people were playing with. That's pretty cool. So that's the one that lies down. And then the first one I printed was Vertigo Galaxy. This is printed on the JG Aurora A5. I tried, I'll see if I can get the effect for you. It's hard to see it. It works better when you have a diagonal wall than a vertical wall, but this is the filamentum vertical galaxy with the speckles in it, the gold. And I clear coated this, which makes it nice and shiny. And then of course I also did one in vertical gray. And it came out quite nice. And then just for the heck of it, I did one in that cheap $7 a kilogram filament. It's about $15 a kilogram now, I believe 14 something a kilogram from Total Pack. And it also came out very nice. I was surprised how nice the white one came out. I think I'm going to attempt to do a chrome on this one. But I kind of like the white, so I might print another white one and then try that um, two-step chrome spray paint you can buy and see if I can get a chrome finish on this. I think that'd be pretty cool. And I also did one in the Pryline Red Copper and it came out quite nice. This is the same color as I did that Tree Topper Star. I'm pleased by that. I like it. And then I thought, wait a minute. Let's do one transparent. Why didn't I think of that? So of course I did one transparent. This one did require a little bit of cleanup because it was printing hot. The Maker Geeks Crystal PLA series likes to be printed at 230 degrees, but it came out beautiful. This is the Crystal Red. I really like how that came out. I tried to do one of these lying down in the clear twinkling Zyro filament, but the filament kept breaking and after the third time I gave up. I hadn't realized at the time that it was the filament runout sensor disconnecting, popping off, and then jackknifing that was breaking the filament. I thought it was brittle filament. Yeah, it was just the filament sensor coming loose. But there you go. Now I don't know if I showed you guys the other flexible tree I did. I think I did, but just in case, I'll show you again. You saw the pink one I did. I also did one in dandy nuclear green. <laughs> it came out very cool. Of course, it's flexible! So I can fold it up and beat it up and be nasty to it in general. And it doesn't care. Very cool. That's it. My herd is well grown. I have now six of them. And they are pretty cool. 
Maybe one day, maybe one year, I'll have these outside for people to see. Hey, maybe one day I'll try to print a really big one. See how big I can get. <laughs> you guys have a great night.